Welcome back everybody to A Deacon's Life. Deacon Tom Mashad here. Today's video is a how-to video. If you live with your folks, with your parents, this is a how to get stuff from them. And this, if you're parents, this is what to watch out for. Don't fall for the trap like me and my wife did. Well, welcome back everybody. So me and my wife have five kids. Ages are from 20 down to 10. So a 20 year old, 18 year old, 16 year old, 13 year old, and a 10 year old. So we have a lot of experience of kids asking for stuff and they've gotten pretty creative. So I thought I'd share this with you. It was a pretty good one, just kind of happened. So I thought I, it was great. I wasn't expecting it. For our first, our oldest child, she wasn't too creative. You know, first child asking for stuff. Can I have it? No. Please? No. Come on, no. So she got stuff, you know, to survive. No, she got quite a bit of stuff, but she just, she didn't get creative with it. There was no, no points for creativity. Then Jack, he did pretty good. I was impressed with this one. So about fifth grade, he was into, he wanted to try Taekwondo. We did that for a while. Then it got pretty tough, uh, you know, money got tight. So we had to pull him from that. About a year and a half later, so now he's roughly seventh grade, he came to me and my wife and said, oh, I would like to go back to Taekwondo. I really liked it. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, how much is this gonna cost? You know, I'm thinking, I'm ready to pounce on him with a bunch of questions. You know, how much, where, you don't, you know, a way to kind of hold him off <laughs> from doing it, right? Excuses not to do something. Well, he already had the answers. So he goes, I want you and mom to come and sit down. So we sat down at the kitchen table. He lays out in front of us, okay, there's a place in Lakeville. I've looked into it. This is when the classes are. This is how much it costs, but the first month is free. So you can see what it's like. You can watch. If you have any questions, you know, they give you that white suit. The first belt is free too. I'm like, wow, you really did some research. I said, okay, you know, it's free, right? Okay, let's go check this out. So we go and the crazy thing happens. Three more of us join. <laughs> So there's four of us at Taekwondo just because Jack did some research, answered all the questions that we knew we were gonna ask. He got us involved, right? He got me and Mary and Lila involved with that. And all of us became black belts. So that was, pr that was pretty good, you know, he, he did his research. Mary saw that, so she was our 16 year old. She saw that and thought, okay, I want a phone. I'm gonna do research too, but she took it the next step. And her next step was she came out with kind of an outline. And this is the outline, pretty good. I was, I found it just the other day. And it was, if I get a phone, I promise the following. So she came up with this list of things. I'll be smart with my time I spend on it. I'll be mature with the internet. I won't look up random things, inappropriate things. I won't get distracted by pop-ups. I'll bring it upstairs every night. I'll ask before I get any apps. I'll not let it distract me from family, friends, school, homework, etc. I mean, she, she went all in. That was pretty cool. And at the very end, she said, I'd pay for it. So, I mean, the phone, um, not the monthly charges, right? And I was like, well, this is pretty cool, you know? We said no. But what she didn't know was, we, and three months later, we were gonna get her the phone anyway. But she came up with this, it was pretty good. You know, what would some of the things that we'd say no right away, right off the get-go? She was answering those questions right away, getting those right off the table. So she listened to Jack, she listened to Anna and some of the things we say no to, what we're looking for for answers, and she did a good job. I was, I was impressed with that. So Anna, just from asking, hey, can I have something? to Jack doing some research, to Mary now doing a presentation in front of us with it. So then it gets to Lila, and what does she do? She, I was impressed, there's no doubt about it. She teamed up with her older sister, who's her roommate, with an idea, let's do this. So they came up with the, not just a presentation, a PowerPoint. They want a, a bedroom renovation, and they did the 13 slides of what they wanted, how they're gonna get it paid for. I mean, it was incredible from, you know, the goals for the bedroom. We wanna keep it clean, move the furniture, redecorate, paint walls, new carpet. You know, all that I'm thinking is price tag. They, 
This is great. The next slide said, show blueprint. That's a blueprint of their room to scale and where they're gonna put everything, which was awesome. Then they came up, you know, underneath the bed, I wanna put a desk and the chair. This is all the scale, so it all work out. That was impressive. It was awesome. You know, how they were gonna do it. So that was pretty neat. Then the redecorating from the curtains, LED lights, plants, desk lamps, uh, needle blankets, stuff like that. And how they want it to look, the ideas they're coming up with. So at that point, I'm like, it was pretty cool. Then they want to paint the walls, kind of the colors they were thinking, new carpet, maybe not because of the price point. What they wanted to do in the bathroom there, new trim, replace fixtures, windows. I mean, all out, organize the bins, what they want to do, how to set up closet, things like that. Then the cost, whole slide of what they went and did research. How much is this gonna cost? Cause they know, dad, I'm gonna ask these questions. What is this gonna cost me? <laughs> Give me the bottom line. And they did the research where they'd get it from. So they had, this is how much. Where they're gonna get the money from. So they're gonna take all their stuff that they had and go to consignment stores or sell it online, things like that. Uh, that was impressive. So when it came all the way down to how they're gonna save for it, one of them actually goes into my office now and cleans it, vacuums it, dusts it, sanitize it, stuff like that. And they're actually doing that now. So that was pretty impressive. So they're following through all of this stuff and where they can save, which stores they can go to to maybe save some money off their budget already. They wanted everything, they wanna do everything they possibly can themselves. What do they need from us? You know, need some help getting the furniture, right? But they wanted to put it together. That was a whole fiasco in itself, but they did great. And the very end, it looks great. It looked wonderful, the dresser they put together. The benefits, this was good. Good life experience. Use skills we have recently learned. Gives you something to do, oh, gives us something to do this summer. Corona. All their camps are not happening and they're learning how to, how to work together civilly. All right, that was a benefit and then a thank you. So that was awesome. Okay, how do you say no to that? Especially if they figured out a way to pay for it. They were doing the work. I didn't have to, well, didn't have to supervise, but you still kind of go, how's your things going? It was awesome. They did great at that. So, you know, you can just ask for something, get a no, whine about it, get a no, right? Get some information of why you want to do something. Maybe get your family involved like Jack did. It's a way to get some stuff. Take the next, you know, step further. Kind of sit down your parents, tell them what you want to do, how you're going to help with the cost, how you're going to handle it. That was pretty cool. Or you can do a full-fledged PowerPoint presentation. Everything down, why you want to do it, how you're going to do it, how much it's going to cost, how you're going to pay for it. And a blueprint. That's awesome. Well, that leaves one more, our youngest, Joseph. So, he hasn't really asked for anything currently. What he asked for is because his siblings said, hey, can you go, at, go ask mom and dad if we can watch a movie? See if we can bring a snack downstairs. See if we can watch, do a video game. See if they want to play a game. So they used their younger brother, their youngest sibling, the youngest, to ask mom and dad, because they'll just say yes to him. You know, the youngest, I was the youngest. You know, I was the favorite, so I get it, you know? It's kidding. So, I'm still waiting to see what Joseph's gonna do, you know? He's asked for a puppy, and we're not getting a dog. And we had a golden retriever before we even had kids, so we had a little puppy, Copper, had him, and then we had all the kids. And they all got to play with him and stuff until he passed away just a couple years ago. And they've been asking for a dog ever since. So it's been now five, four or five years ago, I think. Ask for a puppy. We're not getting a puppy. But he was cute. He was awesome. Yeah, he was a great dog. I liked him a lot, you know. Still saw some pictures just the other day. That was pretty neat. Wait, what's going on? I'm not getting a dog. This is so crazy. Why do I keep thinking of a dog? He was pretty good. Wait a minute. Joseph? Joseph, what are you doing right now? Hey, what are you doing? 